Hey y'all and thanks for joining me for another Watch Cheryl Scrap. Today I am here with a creative team video for Tracy Reed Designs and this is part of the team YouTube Hop for her newest collection called Goldenrod. Um, it's a absolutely fabulous uh, fall vibes, um, perfect for September, October, November layouts and um, I decided to um, go more of the fall with a little hint of Halloween in there um, and I am scrapping a photo of my little pup Piper and this was the first year we had her and she had gone to the groomers and was super cute so she had her little um, Halloween kerchief on and her little black bow and um, so I decided to combine um, Tracy's collection um, with a template that I designed and uh, both those products will be listed in the description box below. So what I did to start off the layout was to add um, three different pattern papers to the paper rings um, that are kind of uh, set at, you know, kind of wonky from each other. And um, now I'm just pulling in the embellishments that will go on top of that. So I've added my, um, I just clipped papers to the paint layers of the template. And um, then um, I could have recolored them. I could have picked any color from the layout and chosen it. Sometimes I just drag the photos on there and just clip that to the paint layer. So I'll um, have some orangey uh, pink and um, the, of course the golden for the golden rod. And um, instead of leaving my title down at the bottom left, I decided to use the stamp that says Boo Eek Season of Thrills and Chills. And I liked how that circle went with the uh, circle paint um, element in the background. So um, here I am adding in a little uh, circular sticker um, that says October month 10 and I just recolored the label underneath it from the template so um, it looks like it was um, you know, something that, that I put together. And um, then I add in a label, a different label than the one on the template. This one's from her collection. And um, then I just add in, um, I'm just changing um, the spacing and um, the size of the font. And I usually use traveling typewriter. That's my favorite font to use. So now I'm just continuing to go using the template as a guide right now. I am adding in, um, I added in some confetti and I don't always match uh, perfectly what's on the template, like um, that button. I decided I did want a button there. So um, I pulled one from the collection and then I moved the pumpkin flare up to the top and then I add another um, button on top of that flower. So now I'm just pulling in those final touches kind of making sure everything is balanced and um, I do end up moving um, that grave flower up and using one of the acetate um, or vellum stickers in the um, background there and then I, these last two flowers I decided to replace those with the stars and they have stitching and gesso splattered on them they're really cool looking and then I found this layered frame and I'm just going to use it behind the photo and I think that's gonna be my last thing no no I add in a couple of word strips and I do forget to 
uh, change out one label of the template and I do uh, correct that off camera. Add in a little tab that says love this but all that you can see it, it says love when you see the final layout. There it is. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy seeing what we all create this month. Bye.